All right, so this is question four assignment on sets. So first thing again, you see, realize that uh, I'll have to do a bit of work to list out the, the elements in each set. So in the first uh, universal set, which is our big boundary, x is any num and any integer between one and ten, including one and ten. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay. Next, x is a prime number, but it has, still has to fall within a universal set. So we have numbers such as 2, smallest prime number, 3, 5, 7, any more? No. So that's it. How about b? b is an x is any number, a multiple of 2, but still within our universal set. So we have 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. Last but not least, x Set C, we have x is any number less than 9, not including the number 9. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Okay, so there you have it. We've listed out all the elements. So now let's go on to answer the question. Very first question, A. Oops, let's not use this pen. Okay, list the elements inside A, complement, union, B. So you realize, oh, I don't have A complement yet. So all I have to do is look at the numbers inside A and then also write out next to it A complement. So if 2, 3, 5, 7 are already inside, all I have to do is list out all the other numbers which are not inside here but still within the universal set. So we have 1, 4, 6, 8, 9 and 10. Okay. So now we want that all the elements inside the set A prime union B. So anything inside A prime and anything inside B, I'm just going to list it all out here. Okay. So we start with 1, we have 2, we have 4, we have 6, we have 8, 9, and 10. So that's it. All the elements inside A prime union B, just by listing everything out. Next. Number of elements inside A intersect B prime. So first things first, find the the set of A intersect B prime. Once again, you do not have at B complement of B prime, so list out what B complement is. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, so everything else that's not these numbers from the universal set. We have 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. Okay, so now let's take a look. Anything that's in common intersect between A, set of A, and B complement. So what's in common between all these? We see a 3, we see 5, and we see not 7, sorry. Just 3 elements. 3, 5, and 7. 3, 5, 7. So how many elements are there inside here? Just do a simple counting and we have 3 elements. Last but not least, Find an element X such that X does not belong inside A union B, meaning anything that's not inside A and B, I mean anything that's not inside A and B, and it belongs inside C. So you take a look at everything inside here. I don't want any number here, but I want something that belongs to C. So let's take a look at all these numbers here. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10. And I take a look at this set, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. What element belongs inside here, but not inside here? That's what the question is asking. So a quick scan, you realize the number or number is, yes, just the number 1. Double check, 1 belongs inside C, yeah. And it does not belong inside here. So I take a look, oh yes, no 1. So, therefore... The element is 1. 